Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in by Andrew Optics here. So we've got this really epic style going on. We've got a lot of oranges and a few teals. Lots of contrast, pretty strong fade in there as well. And we've worked with this image before, but we're working with this one this time. So we're going to be trying to recreate the exact edit in Lightroom. So if you guys like his work, his links will be down in the description. I always put their links down there. So go check him out down there, guys. And let's get into it. All right, here's our raw file. Let's go down. Let's start with adding in a decent vignette. Um, let's protect those highlights so the vignette isn't affecting the whites. Let's come back up. Let's add in clarity. So clarity looks a lot like sharpness in a way, but I describe it as like a glassy look. That's how I tell. Um, bump up the vibrance. Right. Um, take down the highlights so we get all that detail back, back there. Um, shadows a touch whites we want it a bit more of a pop to the brighter areas and black so we're missing a bit of detail uh, doesn't look too bad at the moment bring it up a bit but what I'll do now is take down the contrast because I'm going to add in a lot of contrast with the curves and then I can sort of see what I'm doing with the curves better if I bring down the contrast first only a bit but I'll do the curves now Okay, so that's the curves done. And if I just show you them, it's just an S curve. And I've been through this edit before, so I know what I'm going to do. And sometimes you'll do the, or tweak the curves later to perfectly match the colors you want. So I have fine tuned this so that after we edit all our colors down here, this curve perfectly matches up the colors we're after so I, I don't always just do the curves first and then leave them I quite often or sometimes go back and tweak them so but for the purposes of purposes of these tutorials I sort of have them all figured out before so let's come down to split toning because split toning is a big part of this image we obviously need really really warm tones so let's grab some of these for the highlights let's chuck a lot in there and in the shadows we want some teal almost a purple though And done with split toning so I'm just gonna add in more warmth to the entire image come back so we need to get more of these 
golden and orange tones especially so let's bring up some oranges uh, bring up some yellows let's shift the yellows to way more of an orange So as you can see we can't really get those tones he's got there that's because we've got to do a radial filter nice big one just reset it Okay, so we want a lot more warmth. Could it invert it? We'll just feather it out a bit. Uh, we need some saturation. A bit of dehaze so we can see the shape of the buildings through, through the... Uh, effects and we'll put in some whites because we want a bit of pop coming through okay that looks good and we just want another one but a smaller one inside of that so it's a bit bigger And we want a bit more warmth. Uh, invert it. Brightness. Alright, that looks pretty good. Just check we've done our vignetting right. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so back to HSL. Let's get some of these colors right. We're pretty close at the moment. We've got way too many blues, so we've got to bring those blues down. Aquas. And these greens here obviously need to come down. This is our second edit with this Instagram feed and in in our last one the greens were brought completely down so we'll just do that again. Um, hues, we look about right. Reds. So uh, luminance we just want more deepness to these orange tones so they just want them a bit richer and deeper so chopping the luminance of those helps helps a lot Then just a slight pop to these colors. Doesn't matter too much. And we are looking pretty darn good. And I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I'm just going to leave it there, guys. So, yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see, what you thought about this one. So, comment people's names down in the description that I can go and reach out to on Instagram to ask them to send in a photo. So make sure they have good photos, but not too many followers. That way they're, they'll be willing to send in their photos for me to do a tutorial on them. So do that for me, please. And yeah, uh, check out the presets if you like these tutorials. I'm really happy with how many of you guys are using those. And I don't just want to just, I don't want to, just 
make this channel about giving you guys really good presets but about really teaching you guys so maybe also comment down below what else you guys want to see that will help you and yeah might catch you in the next one thanks for watching cheers